On this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of go over this solar irrigation system that I have here. And I've got my little garden right here, and I'm going to install it. But before I install it, I wanted to open the box up and show you all the contents that you will get when you order one of these systems right here. Because this is an auto kind of like irrigation system that's more of a drip system. But let me just go ahead and go over the contents of this real quick. You'll get this little bag of drippers right here and inside the package is a bunch of those little dripper tees. You can see those, those little connector dripper tees right there. And I think there's up to 30 in the pack. And then you're gonna get these two sizes of hoses. You're gonna have this hose right here, and this is what's gonna run most of your irrigation to your dripping right there. Then you're gonna get the large hose right there. I think the, the smaller hoses are up to 98 feet total, and then the, sm the larger hose is a 16 foot, because you won't need as much of the large as you do the little small ones going out. Pump unit itself right here, and it is connected to the solar panel. And these things right here are water indicators, so when your water's low, those things will, let, will shut the pump off. And then this is some hardware kit for installing the solar panel and the unit itself. And the name of this company is called Ankway, and they make a wide variety of like like outdoor items. They make uh, solar cameras. They make some watering top fountains and things like that. You're gonna get a little set of instructions here and they're, they're not very detailed, but I'll do the best I can to kind of break these down and show you how to install this. They give you probably the smallest writing on the planet. So I have to get a magnifying glass to even see those numbers right there. So you might not need those after I get done with this video. And then you're gonna get a filter system. This one goes down into the water and that's an anti-siphoning system. And I'll show you how that works. That's so it doesn't get any type of back pull into the system. And then you get this little poker thing right here and that's to poke hose into your hose right there. And then you get a couple of solar panel mounting brackets right there and your solar panel. And this is a 10 watt solar panel pretty good size solar panel for a unit of this size there's not much sun out here today so we'll try to get it installed and then i'll let you see it tomorrow put everything together and then i'll try to get it completely installed and so it working so yeah let's go ahead and us let's get to dripping all right everybody so there's the walkthrough of the package i did the install i've been letting this go for about two days and i kind of want to show you guys exactly how this setup was it took me maybe about 30 40 minutes to install all this super simple if you're a decent at it like any type of installation of things like this you'll blow right through it pretty easy i'm going to break down exactly of all the install and show you how you can have this solar powered watering system working in your garden within like an hour but number one you need a good bucket like this you could use a bucket a barrel or something you know i put, did put water so that way only clean water goes in here i have this pole that's right by my garden here and this garden was just kind of like some perennial flowers and plants that never really worried about that much but i would water them from time to time and always wanted to keep them growing now that i have this system set up it's going to just water it and i don't have to worry about it at all here's the pump itself you want to mount the pump higher than your bucket this is my out tube right here so you see my out tube run right there one thing you don't get is zip ties I highly recommend getting some zip ties and zip tying all these things together and I mounted the unit about maybe four feet off the ground I just screwed it into a plate that I put right here a piece of plywood there's one wire that comes out right here and it goes up and around and goes to the solar panel the Sun rises over there so I have it maximizing my Sun you can kind of see how I did that, then I rolled the excess up and ran it down and zip tied it there. It's like when the water's out, this wire right here goes down and you want it to hang. You don't want it to be completely on the bottom. If you see how I have it in here, it's basically one's all the way on the bottom and one is about an inch off. So what I did, I rolled the excess up and put it right back here. So that way it's just barely levitating above. And then this second hose right here runs down and it has a filter on the end. And what I did, I put a little rock down there because it kept floating up 
up. So all that is is just barely holding it. It's not pinching the hose or anything, but it's holding it in place. So that way it vacuums in water there, sucks it up into the pump, sends it out, then it sends it down this. What this is, everybody, this is the anti-siphoning unit. So that way water doesn't constantly keep dripping down and run your pump out. Use this little supplied tool here. You're gonna poke a hole in it and that hole is sized perfectly. Be very careful not to stick it all the way through the other side or you will puncture the other side. I actually did that once and then had to cut my hose off. Luckily that I learned my lesson early. What I do is I squeeze the tubing and slowly go in like that and then stick that in there. So let me go ahead and show you how, what the rest of the system is. So there's the outflow right there. You can see what I did. I buried it underground and let me go ahead, I tell you what, let me show you exactly how this system works actually. So right now I've got 21 hours till the next watering. So I've actually got this set on five minutes of watering once a day. And let me show you, you can see right there, five minutes, I can change it to whatever. Uh oh, I just kicked it in. I can go up to 30 minutes of watering, then it starts back at one. Let me go back, a little put it on six. And then here you got one day, two days, three days, seven days, three hours, six hours, 12 hours. So let's put it on, keep it back on one day on six minutes. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let me put the mic up to it. It's actually fairly quiet. So it's working right now because I just went ahead and kicked it in when I pushed the button. So that's kind of like, it lets it know to start watering. And it's actually charging right now because we do have good sunlight out. So now that it's working, let me show you how this works. You're gonna take this little tool here, poke a hole in it, and then put the little supplied kind of like T-grips or like the straight nozzles right there. And then you're gonna run this hose right here, which you get a lot of this hose. So you don't need a lot of this hose, but you need a lot of that. So I actually have it ran off of each one of these and check out what it's doing right now. So right under there, look at that plant. Can you see that? Look at that drip going on. Let's go over here and look at these. You see that? Look at that drip going on. Now, some of them you might look at and you're like, oh, they're not dripping. And the reason for it is because I squished the hose down all the way. So look at this one right here. You notice there's no drip. Does that mean it's not dripping? No, look at how this is. Because the hose is all the way down and butted up right there, look at it. You see that? It's just dripping off of that drip spike works extremely i've been extremely happy with this guys this thing right here has been one of the best investments i think you can make for your garden every one of them works exactly as advertised you can see that one's not dripping so then pull it out right here look at that yeah it is then i got one right there and all of these are delivering directly to the roots this is one of these systems you don't know you need until you get it this works in potted plants it works in a small garden like this. I could leave and not have to worry about watering for maybe, as long as there's water in a bucket, if I had a big barrel there, it could go for months. There you go, everybody. That's the Ankway solar panel. Let's let this go ahead and run its course and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, everybody.